Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we'll be talking about the top 10 must have skills for an aspiring automation test engineers. So if you are an aspiring test automation engineer, and if you're gonna be getting started into the field of automation testing, then I am sure that this video should really, really help. And these are the top 10 most important skills that you probably need to have so that you can get into automation testing field without any trouble. And these are the skills that I think is most important from the time I started my automation testing journey. And I guess this is gonna be really, really helpful. And one of the first and foremost important automation testing skill that you as an aspiring tester need to have is the programming knowledge. So because we are gonna be doing the automation testing, programming knowledge plays a crucial role. You might have learned automation testing in your college, universities, or your schools where you would have worked with some programming language, for example, Java or C or C++. And in the work that you are going to be aspiring to or are going to be working into automation testing tool, you probably may be working in different automation testing languages like or the programming languages, which you're going to be using for the automation testing tool. So the good thing is like if you don't have information on the new programming language but you have already worked with any of the programming language you can easily convert these things these days because as you know with this large language model like chat gpt we can just copy one of the code block and ask chat gpt to convert what is the equivalent of this code for this programming language you could do that and you'll probably get that particular response already so this is one way that you can start learning a programming language which you don't have an idea about and the other most important thing that you need to be strong in this programming language is not just about the programming language itself but the programming language concepts like the object oriented programming language concept or the design patterns or like how you can use these programming language to write a better automation testing code so these are things that is very very important for you to understand understand while really getting into the automation testing field so that is the first and the foremost skill which i think is more important for you as an automation test engineer the second most important skill that you need to have as an automation test engineer is going to be the familiarity with the test automation framework and as you know there are so many different automation testing tools available in the market right now like selenium cypress playwright and you can keep naming many automation testing tools. But the most important thing among all these things is you need to understand what these tools really offers and how you can better and effectively use these tools to perform automation testing of your application under test. And you also need to know how you can extend these tools with the custom coding that you can write with these tools. For example, if you want to write PayWet model, like a pattern for with the selenium code or the playwright code and similarly if you wanted to do like a utility which can perform like an importing of the data from an excel sheet or you're going to be testing the event from an kafka or probably you're going to be testing an api based on the response which is going to be coming up to a particular web page so if you want to do all these kind of testing like a custom code you need to probably understand how these tool already works and then you can start writing the custom code on the top of it that is the most important skill that you need to have to become a better automation testing aspiring test engineer the third most important skill that I think that you need to have is going to be understanding the software testing methodologies. Like there are many methodologies available, not just related to testing itself, but these are the methodologies that you may be as working within a larger organization. For example, a companies where there are many different teams available and all these teams might be spread across the globe like US, UK or Canada and you will be sitting probably in India and you'll be working with all these team members. And if you want to do all these communication with everybody, you need to have a defined methodologies. And that's when this testing methodologies or the software methodologies comes in like Agile, Scrum and Waterfall model to adapt different project environment and work with them. Well, as that said, the next most important skill that you need to have is understanding the test design and test planning. Like every part of the software that starts with the planning phase, like the software development uh, life cycle, if you take it, you will know that every time, single time we, just, we start with the design and then with the plannings and stuff. Similarly for the testing as well, it starts with the planning and you need to have a clear test design and planning in place so that you can do a better testing for a software that you are actually testing. For example, you need to have a critical 
thinking or the ability of how you can actually design your test cases and there are many ways that you can actually perform this test design and the test planning some companies actually uses excel sheet to do that some people use the powerpoint or word some people use like a mirror board to do that and some people use mind map to actually design like what is going to be the actual testing phase going to look like and what are the things that they are going to be testing that whole planning is going to sit in that particular whiteboard and i think microsoft also offer what is called as Microsoft Whiteboard, which is going to give you the collaborative view of how you can test your application under test for a given piece of it. And these are things that is very, very critical and crucial to think out of the box while testing the application. And that is one of the most important knowledge or skill set that you as an automation tester need to have while testing your application under test. Well, as that said, there is the next important thing that you need to have as an automation test engineer is the ability to write the test case and test script. So you need to understand the requirement and the user stories, and then you need to develop the test scenarios and test cases, and then you need to write a clear and concise test script for each and every feature that you're actually testing. So this is one of the most important phase you as a test engineer come in, because this is the place where you're gonna be writing all the different scenarios that you can really think of, like what you did in the test planning probably, and then you can also break down into smaller test cases and scenarios and how you can attack the software to improve the quality and how you think pretty much like an end user where you can actually see how the application can be tested and how you can improve the overall quality of the application. So that is where writing test cases and the test scripts for automation tester as well as the manual tester comes in play. And once again, this test script is not just limited to, uh, or the test cases is not just limited to the manual test engineer. You as an automation tester will also be involved in writing the manual test cases, which is going to be helpful for you to actually write the better test automation script. And the next skill that you probably need to have is the experience in test management tool i think this is one of the most important skill as well because you are going to be working in a company where you're not just going to be doing everything manually like the test management like the waterfall or documentation or the agile process it's all going to be maintained by many tools like jira or the uh, azure alm so you can use these tools to perform this operation so i think having an information or knowledge about these tools will also be very very helpful i mean it's very very straightforward to really use it and the next skill that you as an automation tester need is the continuous integration and continuous delivery of your software. For instance, you as an automation test engineer will not just be writing the code and running the test in your local machine, but also be checking in the code in the pipeline, like the CI CD pipeline. So it is very, very essential and crucial for you to have a knowledge of how that you can check in the code in the GitHub and run them in the GitHub Actions or Azure DevOps or the Jenkins pipeline and then you get the desired output that you're looking for. So all these tests that you have written and all the application that is being deployed in an different environments, all these can be effectively tested using this continuous integration and continuous delivery. And once again, most of these tools as well as the automation testing tool that we discussed the frameworks is already been covered in our Execute Automation YouTube channel as well as in the Udemy courses. So please go ahead and watch there it will be very, very helpful for you to know how you can do all these operations in much, much sophisticated fashion. The next skill that you probably need to have is going to be the knowledge of web technologies and APIs. Because we, as a test engineer, mostly work with the web technologies like the web application testing or the APIs. So it is essential and crucial that you need to have all these information in place so that you can really test the application effectively. So having knowledge with the HTML, CSS, and the APIs like REST API and SOAP, as well as the different kind of operation that you can perform in API like get, post, and put. All these informations are going to be very, very helpful for you to test the application. So it is very, very important that you have a bit of knowledge on all these web technologies as well as the API. So this is another crucial, important skill that you as an aspiring automation tester should have. And finally, you also need to have some debugging as well as the troubleshooting capability because we as a tester mostly find the issues. We also need to know like what is the root cause of the issue and why the issue has really happened and document all the different way that you can find out this issue is also very, very crucial. So this knowledge is also important. And the final and the foremost important skill that you as an automation tester need to have, I mean, it's not just for tester really, is gonna be the continuous learning. 
you should keep learning and updating yourself each and every day and understand what is really happening around you because these days the technology is changing so rapidly and having this ai like the large language model in place we are seeing a quite a lot of improvements are happening right now like a lot of companies are moving really faster than before and we are sure that the era that we are going to be encountering in the next five years is probably going to be very very drastic than what we are at the moment so continuous learning is the most important skill that you as a test engineer should have well as that said these are the 10 most crucially important skill that you as an aspiring automation test engineer should have while getting into automation testing field. And I'm sure that this video has helped you, has given you some idea of how you can really bring into the table so that you can improve yourself while you get into automation testing. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and most of the tools that we have discussed as well as the processes that we have discussed over here in this video are already covered in my Udemy as well as in Exit Automation YouTube channel. So please go ahead and watch there. Thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.